another beautiful day in Tampa. And what a great way to start the day with a great cup of coffee. Isn't it amazing like a morning conversation with your husband leads to all of this? We never imagined it. You know, this started as a hobby and really it was just our search for a better cup of coffee. Um, eventually we started sourcing our own beans and roasting them and creating coffee. We like to say it accidentally turned into a business. This is the original roaster. Yes, so way back when, almost a decade ago, we installed this in our garage <laughs> in Hyde Park. We discovered specialty coffee, which um, was a game changer, and then couple that with freshly roasted specialty coffee, and there's just nothing like it. Eight years ago, this just started out as an idea. Now this spot on Kennedy is one of the most popular consignment shops in the country. I can't help myself. I've got to shop around. This is now the most followed consignment shop in the nation, right? Uh, yes, on Facebook. On <laughs> Facebook. <laughs> why consign and why is it so great? Um, it allows people to be able to bring in things that they don't use anymore that somebody else might love and they can buy it for a fraction of the cost. Okay, I, honestly I think I'm having heart palpitations just standing here because shopping for shoes makes me hyperventilate. I mean seriously? Your favorites. Yeah, I mean these are well over a thousand dollars in the store. Um, they sell them currently at Neiman Marcus and Nordstrom. They're five fifty dollars here. Um, this person probably wore them one time. They sell this at Gucci currently. Louis Vuitton sneakers. I mean, these are Gucci. These are very unique. The person probably wore them one time. The Gucci slides and the Vendi slides are super popular right now. You know, we want to get our consigners the most for their items. Fabulous for less. <laughs> Joe Madden, my partner here in Tampa at Ava. Oh, is Joe Madden, yeah, I guess. You, you know oh. Joe Madden, the World Series really? winner? Oh yeah. yeah, oh yeah, that guy? So Joe, he comes up with his artwork and comes up with the phrases and the ideas and he gets a local kind of uh, muralist to paint them. And if you go in there, it's called putting art back in the game. So it all goes to charity, Respect 90. Pretty cool. And Michael, you thought we were in the restaurant business. You know what, Michael, I think yeah. though you're pretty cool too. Because let me tell you, I mean, every time I come into your restaurant, there's always someone famous here. What is that? Is it it's because of your it's because of your no, engaging? No, it's the honestly, right? honestly, it's my chef and the food and the service. See, Italian food doesn't have to be complicated. And our tag is inspired Italian. They've been doing this for generations. We hand roll our pastas, we make our bread fresh every morning at 4 a.m. from our Acunto oven that's from Naples, Italy. We bring our caputo. Um, flour from Italy, so everything's in Italy, and it's it's authentic. And I think people know that. They know that handcrafted went into it, and that sets us apart, I believe, from a lot of the other restaurants. Because you got to have it all. You got to have customer service, great food, and good environment, and good location. And if you do that, time and time again, they're going to come back. Whether it's Derek Jeter, <laughs> Michael Jordan, sorry, oh, Tiger geez. Woods. Why don't we throw out oh, a yeah. few other uh, things? They, you know, they they love this space. We we treat them like people that just want to come in and have a great time. Doing it one inch or inch and a half. Whatever you can do. We came from Russia, from Ural Mountains in 93. Since the material's kind of fragile, I didn't want to try to do it myself. <laughs> I'll take you care of it. it. Straight to Tampa and loved it every day of it. Uh, no, you don't need to schedule an appointment. You can come any convenient time for you. Now, but tell us the story of the day you opened. Uh, we'll start, we're planning to be open on um, September 11, but something happens and we just sit, watch TV, and we open a week after September 11. Do you think that even inspired you more to succeed in the U.S.? Did it make you fall in love with the United States even more than you already were? It definitely uh, feels proud to be in this country. And are you so surprised at like where you come from when you first started to where you are now? Oh please, we came to America with three thousand dollars, and uh, now we're kind of doing well. Take the flair off right here. All right, so we can do this for you. Tati, what is it about your your sewing style that makes it so fabulous? I love what you do. Tati, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I love this woman. I love this woman. Thank you. <laughs>